This video will show how to download Education Edition for Multisim version 14.2, uh, the download and the installation. So if you are in the Ivy Tech 111 class, EECT 111 class, uh, you do have an announcement that has some of this information there. So if you go to our Canvas site, uh, one of the announcements says Multisim Education Edition free download. If you click on that, there's a link that will take you there. Now, this serial number is incorrect. That's the old one. <clears throat> the new one uh, we have right over here to the left. So when we get to that point, this is the one that we're going to use. Okay, and once I determine that this works, um, I'm going to remove this old serial number and put the new one. I'm just going to go in and edit this announcement. So let's go ahead and click on this link. It should take us to the ni.com website, which is National Instruments. Uh, we do want version 14.2, the education edition. Essentially, everything is already preset for you. So you should just be able to go to the download. Okay. Uh, if you don't have an uh, NI user account, uh, you should be able to create your own username and password. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put my credentials in. Uh, again, you can create an account real quick. <clears throat> it's, it's free, um, but you do have to have um, uh, an account linked to your download. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and log in, and I want to stay logged in for mine. You don't have to choose that. Okay, so the download should automatically start. Now, typically these are very, very small files, uh, like this one's like six megabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And in my browser, I'm using Firefox. I can access this uh, up here in this little uh, area right here. You may need to go to your downloads folder. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this. And so here we go. Yes, I want it to make changes. All right, so here we go. So here starts the install process. Um, I accept the above license. Again, if there's ever a time where this starts to uh, take a long time to download or if there's parts where it takes a while to install i will just simply pause the recording um, and then i'll pick it back up when it uh, when it makes some progress okay so right now it looks like it's just doing some initial things um i'm hoping that uh it's not going to go in and blast out because i have a different version of multi-sim already on my computer hopefully it won't go in and blast that away um, I believe you can have more than one version on your um, computer. So hopefully it's just doing some internal stuff right now. This kind of looks like what it's doing. Okay, so it's still making progress. Looks like we're about maybe 85. Okay, so it must have gone ahead and just um, finished out whatever it had left to do. I assume I'm going to get another pop-up here. There it is. Okay, I accept both these license agreements. Uh, let's see. All looks good to me. We're installing 14.2. 
Uh, again, I already have 14.0 on here, but my guess is it will allow me to have both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Okay, it's got some more uh, support. Okay, so it's removing some other stuff. Um, that may be from my previous install. So... <clears throat> Right now, we're about five minutes into this video, five minutes and a half. <clears throat> okay, this might take a second, so I'm going to go ahead and hit pause. And then uh, once it's made a little bit more progress, I'll keep checking back in on it. Okay, it's been running about four minutes or so. <clears throat> you can see the progress that it's made. Um, it's installing a bunch of different libraries now. A lot of these libraries we won't even use, at least for you know the beginning circuits courses, but uh, you may need them at some point in another class. So jumped back in here because it was starting to move fairly quick. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pause again and check back in. Okay, it's been about another three minutes or so. You can see the progress that's been made. Starting to do a little bit more movement here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause for a second again. All right, so this has only been about another minute, and uh, it looks like it's starting to move quicker, but I've thought that now a couple times, so just not sure, you know, how big each part of this uh, is going to be. You know, when it when it does 100% of that next task and then it does the next next task, uh, we're approaching halfway point here. So I'd say I've been doing this for maybe about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes total. Okay, so some of this stuff, like the upgrading, <clears throat> my guess is that if you don't have a previous version installed, there's nothing to up upgrade or update. Most of this will just be a fresh... Uh, installation for you so and picking back up again uh, we're approaching roughly halfway <clears throat> I'd say about total time is is right at 15 minutes now So I'll just stick with this since it seems to be moving. What I don't want to happen is for this thing to just, you know, have a bunch of small tasks at the end and, you know, it blasts through the last 60, you know, 40% or whatever uh, in a couple of seconds and I miss it. So I'm just going to stick with it here. It seems to be moving. You're seeing a lot of uh, LabVIEW type stuff being installed. Uh, a few years back, uh, National Instruments, which is who owns Multisim, they also, <clears throat> they're, they're the ones who own LabVIEW first. And then they bought Multisim from, um, uh, what was it, Electronics Workbench. So uh, it's really nice because the, uh, the two systems can now, you know, talk to each other uh, much easier. They've got these uh, special communication paths. So... Okay, we're, we're, we're over halfway now. I'd say maybe 60% 60, 60 of the way there. All right, we are approaching 20 minutes here, total time. And it uh, looks like we're around 70% yeah, maybe.
All right, I'm officially at 20 minutes, and we look like we're around 80% finished. So I don't expect this to take too much longer. It's already installed the license manager and a few other things I've been looking for. So um, my guess is this will be done within the next 10 minutes. So I'm going to guess about a 30-minute total uh, install time. That's my guess. So we'll have to see here. All right, it's been a couple of minutes since the last check-in. We're getting down to about 90% now, so this this towards the tail end here is moving much much quicker than the uh, uh, the beginning of this. All right, we're definitely above 90% now, approaching 95%. So you can't see these percentages. I'm just gauging it based off the top bar here. So I'm just going to stick with this and let it go. No more pausing. So again, a lot of this upgrading stuff, you know, I've already got 14.0 installed just to remind you. So you may not see everything that I have here. Uh, and in fact, because you don't have a previous, uh, you know, all this all this previous data downloaded for a previous version, uh, my guess is that your install may be even quicker than mine. So I keep checking in, and it has not deleted my old, um, my my fourteen point zero. So my guess is it's going to let me keep them both. Um, but we'll have to see. Maybe it's just keeping the icons there, and it's really gutting the whole thing right now or maybe it's just going to take my existing program and uh, switch a few things out and now it's called 14.2 i don't know either way you shouldn't have any of these um, um issues yours should just be a fresh install we're super super close to the end here I was going to try to keep this uh, video under 10 minutes, but uh, this is being a little bit unpredictable in, in, in how it's moving. But we're going to stick with it. So as of right now, I am officially 25 minutes into this. And as you can see, hasn't made much progress here in the last couple minutes. It's just it's just got a few more things to do. Um, so it's removed some stuff and now it's installing new new pieces. Super close now, 99%. Got to be ready to uh, round the bases here. All right, so 
at about 27 minutes right now. We're got no tasks un tasks underneath here that are uh, installing, so it must be finalizing everything. Um, no, I don't want you pinging things. So this one, um, I don't, I don't particularly like things in the background just checking their server, pinging the server every so often. So I don't allow this. You can do what you want, though. If I need to update this for any reason, then I'll just go search it out myself. <clears throat> so I do not want it to automatically do anything. Okay. Now we're to the licensing wizard. Okay. So we're finally to the place where we need to inst uh to put this new serial number. So we want 14.2 Education edition. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it for the ulti board because I want both of those on there. Ulti board basically takes your multi sim schematic and converts it into something that you can use to create a um, a printed circuit board, a PCB. So if it's going to let me have both, I'm going to take both. So I'm gonna put that serial number in both places here, uh, and then click activate. So again, I have not done this part. Looks like activation is successful in both accounts. Um, you can see Mark Atkins is our um, is our contact. He's he's obviously our department chair for WET, and um, so he's our contact with National Instruments. They're the one who gave him this new uh, serial number. So everything looks successful. Let's go ahead and click next, uh, and then I'm going to click close. All right. So now I'm going to go into my start menu. And I'm going to scroll down to NI. Okay, so that's exactly what it did. So I'm officially, I'm one minute away from a half an hour on this install. Uh, and so my guess is that yours will go much quicker because what it's done is it's taken my 14.0 and it has replaced them with 14.2. So I no longer have the old or the older version of multisim on my computer. Uh, you won't notice any difference, but you won't you don't want to go to M thinking it's multisim. It's it's national instruments multisim. So it's going to be under the N on your start menu. Okay. So I'm just going to launch this real quick just to make sure everything's kosher. And I'm going to get rid of that real quick. Okay. So it's wanting me to Let's see what happens here. I'm not sure if it's going to let me go because it wants to reboot all of this. Okay, it's letting me in. Very good. All right. So there we go. So there is the um, installation video for Multisim 14.2. Again, this took me about 30 minutes total from... Uh, going to Canvas, going to the website, downloading it, and then installing it. Installing it took the longest time. Uh, and as you saw on the screen, a lot of what was being done is is removing things I already had on my computer. So my guess is yours is only going to take around 20 minutes. Um, so just just you know set aside 20, 30 minutes tops to, to get this done. And you should have full access to both programs. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching.